morning dear students today we are going to see another theory from the foundations of nursing this new man's system model so first of all we'll see about the theorist the theorist is betty newman she was born in 1924 in loyal ohio she got bs in nursing in 1957 and masters in mental health public consultation from ucla in 1966 and phd in clinical psychology and this theory was published in a model for teaching total person approach to patient problems in nursing research in the year 1972 and conceptual models for nursing practice first edition in 1974 and second edition in 1980 so for this publication she consulted sister calista roy so you might be knowing sister calista roy because we have seen her theory in the previous class so betty newman with sister calista roy So we are going to see about the theory. First of all, we'll see about the basic concepts of system model. So the first concept is that it is an open system. So open system means a system in which there is a continuous flow of input, process, output, and feedback. So the system consists of input, process, output, and feedback. next concept is the basic structure and energy resources so from this diagram you can see in the middle there is a circle and that is the basic structure and energy resources so you can see many circles in this diagram we will see each one uh, one by one so first is basic structure and energy resources the basic structure or central core it is made up of basic survival factors common to the species that is genetic variable support system or the basic core of energy of individual person so that is the basic structure of energy resources next we are going to see about the line of resistance so there are series of lines surrounding the basic core structure known as flexible line of resistance so from this diagram you can see surrounding the basic structure or surrounding the middle circle you can see certain dotted lines so that dotted lines are known as lines of resistance and these lines of resistance are known as flexible line of resistance and what is the function of this flexible line of resistance that is it attempts to stabilize the person and encourage a return to the normal line of defense so we'll see what is this normal line of defense the normal line of defense it is represented as a solid line outside the line of resistance and it is an adaptational level of health developed over time and considered normal for a particular individual client or system and becomes a standard for wellness deviance deviance determination okay so we'll see what it is so surrounding the basic core we we have seen the lines of resistance and so surrounding the lines of resistance you can see a solid like a thick line black colored thick line that is the normal line of defense and the normal line of defense that is the adaptation level that 
that is achieved by an individual or system by the time by time time period so we have seen the basic structure and that is surrounded by lines of resistance and the lines of resistance that is surrounded by a solid line that is the normal line of defense now you can see there is an outer circle outer dotted circle that is the flexible line of defense we'll see what it is flexible line of defense it is depicted depicted as a broken line outside the normal line of defense which act as a protective barrier to prevent stressors from breaking through the normal line of defense it is dynamic in nature and can change rapidly over a short time so we have seen the core and it is surrounded by certain line of resistance and the line of resistance is surrounded by a normal line of defense or that is the line of adaptation and it is covered by a flexible line of defense so moving further we are going to see about the stressors reaction to stressors so if the flexible line of defense that we have seen that is the outer line cannot protect a person from the stressors the stressor can break through the normal line of defense causing a reaction which depends on client line of resistance so we have seen the stressors first they are attacking the flexible line of defense and they are going inside and attacking the normal line of defense we will see what are the stressors the stressor is any phenomenon that might penetrate both the flexible and normal lines of defense resulting in either a positive or negative outcome so there are three stress stressors first is intra personal stressor so from the term itself we can understand that that is within the client system so these are the stressors that occur within the client system boundary and correlate with the internal environment like anger or fear next is interpersonal stressors so that is between the client system occur outside the client system boundary are proximal to the system and have an impact on the system these occurs between individuals next we are going to see about the third stressor that is extra personal stressor so from the term it's we can understand it is outside the client it also occur outside the client system boundaries but are at a greater distance from the system that are interpersonal stressors for example job stress now we are going to see certain terms that is relating to this system first is stability that is a state of balance or harmony requiring energy exchanges as the client adequately copes with stressors to retain attain or maintain an optimum level of health this preserving system integrity that is known as stability next is entropy and nigentropy entropy is that a process of energy depletion and disorganization so because of that the system is moving towards illness or possible death entropy next is negentropy that is a process of energy conservation that increases organization and complexity so the system is moving towards the stability or wellness next we are going to see about the three preventive measures you have already know about these uh, preventive measures first preventive measure that you know that is primary prevention that occurs before the stressor invades the system secondary prevention occurs after the system has reacted to an invading stressor 
and the third is tertiary prevention occurs after secondary prevention as reconstitution is being established. So we are going to see about the primary prevention. It occurs before the system reacts to a stressor. So it includes health promotion and maintenance of wellness and it is focuses on strengthening the outer circle. What is the outer circle? That is the flexible line of defense. So with the help of measures of primary prevention, we are strengthening the flexible line of defense in order to prevent illness through preventing stress and reducing risk factors. So the risk factor reduction is one of the important measures of primary prevention like immunization, health education, exercise, lifestyle changes. Next is about secondary prevention. It occurs after the system reacts to a stressor and it is provided in terms of existing symptoms. So secondary prevention focuses on strengthening the internal lines of resistance and this protects the basic structure through appropriate treatment of symptoms. So secondary prevention means like uh, the system has exposed to uh, the flexible line of defense has exposed to certain stresses and somehow the flexible lines of defense have attacked and the line of defense already got attacked and now the system is exposed, exposed to certain illness. Now the secondary prevention we are focusing on strengthening the internal lines of resistance. Moving further, tertiary prevention. It occurs after the system has been treated through secondary prevention strategies. Its purpose is to maintain wellness or protect the client system reconstitution through supporting existing strength and continuing to preserve energy. So reconstitution means we are or the central core is preserving energy. So this is overall about Newman's model. We have seen the middle circle that is basic structure and line of defense. Certain stresses that is from the right side. You can see that red column boxes that is stresses are attacking the system and the system that is outer covering flex, flexible line of defense and inner you can see the line of defense and uh, innermost you can see that there, that there is the lines of resistance and the lines of resistance then the flexible line of defense and the line of defense is strengthened by primary prevention, secondary prevention and tertiary prevention and in order to reconstitute the energy. So we are seeing how this major concepts and nursing meta paradigms uh, in four areas that is in human being, environment, health and nursing. So what about human being? So according to this system model, human being is a total person as a client system and the person is a layered multidimensional being. So each layer consists of five person variable or subsystem. So the variables are physiological variable, psychological variable, sociocultural variable, spiritual variable and developmental variable. So in this model, the new band is stressing about all the aspects of a human being, physiological, psychological, sociocultural, spiritual and developmental. Next is about the environment. The totality of the internal and external forces, that is the intrapersonal, interpersonal and extrapersonal stresses, which surround a person and with which they interact at any given time. So in the environment, we are focusing about the main stressors. Next is about the health. It is equated with wellness, the condition in which all parts and subparts are in harmony with the whole of the client. And the client system moves towards illness and death when more energy is needed than is available. 
the client system move toward wellness when more energy is available than is needed so finally we are going to see about nursing so neerman defines nursing so students please note and learn uh, how she defines nursing it is an action which, which assists individuals families and groups to maintain a maximum level of wellness and the primary aim is stability of the patient client system through nursing interventions to reduce stressors so the role of the nurse is seen in terms of degree of reaction to stressors and the use of primary secondary and tertiary prevent interventions so in this model we have seen about the uh, seen that is the middle circle that is the core of energy and surrounding by certain lines of resistance and the lines of resistance that is surrounded by a line of defense that is a solid line of defense and that is surrounded by a flexible line of defense we can see, we have seen the stressors in the environment attacks the line of defense flexible line of defense then uh, line of defense and the system is going to uh, roll of sickness and with the help of nursing interventions that is primary prevention secondary prevention and tertiary prevention we are uh, attacking or we are strengthening the lines of resistance in order to get the system energy or wellness so this is about the uh, newman's model hope you all understood thank you